GameGrade.com. Jay from GameGrade here, bringing you another video on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This video will explain the best augmentation systems to purchase using your valuable Praxis for a combat focused playstyle. Identifying which augmentations should be purchased early game to maximise the power of Jensen as soon as possible, and which augmentations should be purchased mid or late game for helpful bonuses down the road. Outright combat and lethal play isn't stressed by the story, but the heavy firepower available throughout the game is just too much fun to pass up. The New Game Plus mode is ideal for players who prefer doing a pure stealth run first time round, then going all guns blazing for round 2. Either way, there's certainly nothing wrong with opting for the most violent approach to each mission. Selecting a different set of augmentations to stealth players, you can turn Jensen into a damage dealing tank. You will lose the bonus XP awarded for non-lethal play, but you can directly take out every target in every mission without missing a thing. That can certainly help make up the difference in XP, especially compared to stealthers who simply bypass several enemies without takedowns. It's worth bearing in mind that even though you kit out Jensen for raw combat, it's still not a simple run and gun affair. Making good use of the scenery for cover is still important to help prevent damage. Being completely exposed in open gunfights surrounded by multiple enemies can still swiftly sap your health, especially on harder difficulties, so use of solid cover is advised. Heavy combat operatives should aim to carry an upgraded rifle and shotgun as soon as possible, allowing effective combat to take place at any range. Once you've upgraded your inventory space however, it's best to fill it with a tactical shotgun or devastator, a combat rifle and a battle or sniper rifle. Carrying three large guns with ammo is costly, but you will be able to handle all combat at short, medium and long ranges effectively. Finally, make sure to hit the shooting range which is given as a side quest when you reach the Task Force 29 headquarters. This tutorial will go through the basics of which ammo types to use for certain enemies, namely regular, EMP and armour piercing ammo types. A weapon modding, customizations, and upgrade guide will also be given. Upgrading your best weapons to maximise their performance in the field is an important undertaking, so don't neglect using those found crafting parts. The proper distribution of selected augmentations make it much easier for a combat player to perform their craft, maximising their survivability in any situation. The most important augmentations for combat players, which should be acquired as early as possible in the game, are as follows. Cybernetic Weapon Handling This line of orgs improves aim stability, recoil reduction and reload speed. Upgrading your aiming stability and recoil reduction will offer the most noticeable improvements, so installing the sharpshooter aim stability and field recoil compensation upgrades as soon as possible is advised. Reload speed dexterity is less important since you will mostly be reloading from behind cover, however it's still a helpful bonus if you have spare praxis later down the road. Focus Enhancement Focus will allow Jensen to slow down time for a limited time via the regulated nervous system upgrade. It consumes a high amount of energy to maintain, so its longevity is purely reliant on the size of your available pool of energy. Focus is best used in the middle of larger firefights with multiple foes, giving you the chance to land multiple headshots while minimising incoming damage. You can also pot shot grenades mid-flight if the need arises. Rhino Dermal Armour This makes you much tougher to kill, allowing you to absorb a lot more damage. Heavy combative players need to max this out as soon as possible. It costs zero energy to maintain and is always active, unlike the experimental Titan. The EMP shielding upgrade is worth purchasing later in the game once EMP attacks are more common and after the mastered reduction settings upgrade has been installed. Rhino Dermal Armour synergizes well with the Sentinel RX health system augmentation, which should be purchased next. Sarif Series 8 Energy Converter Jensen's special weapons, takedowns and abilities all require energy to perform. This line of orgs gives you a larger pool of energy to pull from, a reduced delay before each energy recharge and an increased rate of energy regeneration. The peak recharge rate upgrade should be installed first and then the quick recharge delay upgrade second. And finally, given enough praxis, the Ultra Capacity Biocells upgrade. This line of augmentation upgrades present obvious advantages for both the stealth and combat based operative. Sentinel RX Health System This line of orgs is a must for combat players, allowing them to greatly increase their health regeneration rate, number of hit points, and reduce the delay between taking damage and health regeneration. This line should be purchased as soon as possible after the Rhino Dermal Armour, and just like the latter, should be fully upgraded. 
Install the military settings defib upgrade first, then uninhibited angiogenesis second, then lastly elite regen delay if you have the spare praxis. Titan. Titan easily provides the best protection for Jensen but requires energy to sustain. This energy consumption can be drastically reduced by installing the facet cost optimized upgrade. If you are planning on playing on the normal difficulty setting then the Titan augmentation can be mostly ignored. However, if you plan on playing on the highest difficulties then this line is well worth the praxis and will make sure those larger firefights are much more manageable. Just to recap, to make sure Jensen is as tanky as possible as early as possible in the game, you'll want to concentrate on maxing out Rhino Dermal Armor as a priority, and then the Sentinel RX health system immediately after. Titan can be safely ignored until late game if firefights are then proving difficult. Okay, the following additional augmentations are good optional choices which can be acquired mid or late game as follows. Cybernetic Arm Prosthesis. You will want to concentrate on upgrading your carrying capacity and maxing it out as a priority. You can safely ignore the other upgrades. This way you will be able to carry three large weapons to perfectly handle all ranges and combat situations, as well as plenty of ammo and some space for supportive items and pickups. The extra space will also allow you to grab an extra weapon to bleed off spare ammo of unused types, saving on higher caliber bullets. Next we have the hacking capture augmentation. Being able to breach level 2 or 3 electronic systems is a bonus for additional XP, so a few praxis spent here is good. Hacking capture levels 4 and 5 will not be required for a combat focused player since these systems are much harder to crack without additional augmentations. Instead, make sure to carry around a few multi tools for instant access to valuable high level systems like safes etc. Restocking at shops if needs be. Besides, who wants to spend time hacking complex firewall security systems when you could be out there using those upgraded guns. The final org is the Icarus landing system. Preventing damage when landing from any height will allow Jensen to roam high and low without worry for taking damage. To top it off, the Descent Velocity Modulator upgrade includes the Icarus Strike ability, allowing you to easily incapacitate enemies in your landing vicinity. We can't think of a more stylish way to kick off a firefight. As mentioned, this combat build requires a lot of inventory space when compared to a stealth build, as you will be carrying several large weapons on top of all your supporting items. The upgrade in inventory space is important around mid-game once you are able to upgrade those large weapons and put them into effective use. Okay, that's the end of the guide. I hope you enjoyed watching and found at least some parts useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and your preferred orgs and style of play. Please like if you liked and subscribe if you want to see more videos from Gamer Grade. I'm Jay, hope you can join me in the next one. I'll lose him! I'll lose him! Shit, 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 shit! Just a little further. Just a little... Visit GamerGrade.com